Hey guys, Steve Petrato here with James Haley on another edition of our Tech Talk show. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of information on the 270CFX. So this is a product that just started shipping and we wanted to go through all the features. I wanted to ask James a little bit about it. So let's jump right into it. All right, James, I noticed the one we have on the table is obviously a little bit different than what we display on the box and all the marking materials. So is this the option canopy? Yep, this is the option canopy. Okay, so give me a little bit of information about just kind of the design qualities of this, some of the neat features. I know it's a kind of the simplest way to put it is it's a scaled down version of a 360, but you know, what are the, what are the key features here? Yeah, so it's a baby 360 is the easiest way to put it. Um, it's actually kind of a, mix between a 360 and a 300, kind of evolution of the 300. Um, so it's got the same servos as the 360. Um, it's actually using the same size diameter boom, okay. um, the tail. Um, so, so there's no, no, no tail boom supports, right? Yep, no tail boom supports. So the boom's actually a little oversized for this size model, uh, allowing you to get away without having to have boom supports or anything like that. Gotcha. Now the, uh, the servo geometry, I'm just gonna pull the canopy off here. This is the same CFX servo geometry as we had in all of the CFX models, right? Yep. Yeah, it's all the same. So, you know, every all the rotation arms are in the same plane as the swash plate move. Okay. Um, and this is how many cells, this thing? Uh, this is actually running on six cells. 6S. This is a really small 6S, uh, 900 6S? 910, I believe it is. Yep. 910, okay. Uh, helical main gear, it looks like. Yeah, so the same main gear from the uh, 450X Ready to Fly, the 360 CFX, you know, okay. so any of those models, all the same main gear across them all. Gotcha. And, and the speed control, I assume, is a castle as yep. well? Yeah, it's the same speed control actually from the 360. Uh, it's a Talon 35. Awesome. Uh, so it's going to have governing, governing everything else. Yep, there. all pre-programmed. castle stuff that we're used to. Uh, so we got carbon main blades. These are, of course, now you guys know that everything that has the number on it from blade now will be the actual millimeter size of the, the right. blades, right? So yep. this is 270 millimeter blade. So this blade is 200. So if you if you had a 300 CFX, is that going to be a little smaller or bigger? Or how uh, a little smaller, actually. Oh, so yeah. 300 CFX was 245 millimeter blade, so yeah. this is our 270 millimeter. So if we put them side by side, that would be a little smaller. So if you guys have a 300 or have seen a 300, uh, that's where some of the confusion comes in when we started changing the names over to the actual blade size. So the 300 wasn't done with that uh, naming convention, the 270, the 360. All those newer models have been done with that newer naming convention. Yep. So on the rotor head, uh, obviously all aluminum all the way down to the all the way down to the, to the uh, servo blocks, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's a kind of a baby 360 head. Um, kind of has the same design cues, uh, same way the main grip uh, arms go on there. Um, you know, it's a larger diameter spindle from compared to even the 300. So. Okay. Yep. Uh, head speed on this thing has got to be pretty zinging, I'm assuming. Uh, right? I believe it's around 4,000 on that okay. too. So nice. Yeah, it's cooking. Yeah, it's definitely moving. Uh, and then, so the the big key thing on this is the AR7210. So this is not the AR7200 that came on all the older models. Now, what yeah. what's the what's the key benefit of this? Uh, so a couple of key benefits are on the 7210 versus 7200. Uh, 7210 has a digital uh, sensor in it mm -hmm. versus the uh, analog sensor. Um, so what it does is the old sensor on the 7200 max flip rotation or tail was 500 degrees per second. This is now 2000 degrees per second. So <laughs> allows you to have a lot faster cyclic, a lot faster tail while still maintaining resolution and consistency. Okay. Um, also with the six axis, six axis sensor, now you get bailout, right. um, you know, and self leveling okay. uh, capabilities with that. So if I had a, if I had, let's say I had to replace this, uh, or if I wanted to change it out to another or if I want to put this on another model, can I do that? I guess that's, yeah, that's the question. So that is one of the things that's a little different about this model. On the 360 or any of the previous models, 7200, it was an open stock unit. Right. Um, now with the bailout, it's a dedicated uh, firmware to this model. Okay. Uh, so it, you, you can't pull it out and put it on another model without downloading, um, and I believe there's a small fee to get the open stock firmware. Right, yeah, the, all the bailout stuff from, yep. straight from B-Stacks, right? Yep, and that's just getting to open stock firmware that doesn't have bailout. If you want bailout, it's an additional, I believe, $100 or so. Okay, so um, you're really getting that $100 value in this product without correct. having to pay for it. And that brings me to the next question of, okay, well, you know, this is this is the same price as a 360 CFX. So people will have asked me, well, what, why'd you do that? What, you know, this is smaller, obviously. Um, why would I? Why would I pay the same amount of money? Well, this one has the bailout, which is really a hundred dollar value from B6, and the 360 does not. Um, so that's kind of why the price is the same there on the street from the two models. So if you're looking for a smaller model, a little bit more nimble, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah. Now I know we we don't have a three bladed head option for this, right? Correct. So if you want a three bladed head option, go with the 360 CFX. If you're looking for a smaller model, 6S, this is kind of the way to go. 
Um, so I noticed on the tail, very similar tail, right? This is probably the same exact tail. The as same the exact tail. Uh, the only difference is we actually have a little bit shorter tail blades and different tail fin. Okay. Uh, but the boom isn't the same uh, length. It's the same diameter. Um, okay. So just a real stubby boom. It's yep. really, real nice. Uh, so yeah, all the servos are the same. The motor is new. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's, really, it, it's a beautiful model. It definitely, definitely uh, has the high quality feel of, of all the CFX line. Let's see, anything else you can think of? Uh, nope, that's it. Uh, definitely flies different than the 360 though. You know, 360 is very floaty feeling, you know. Sure. Uh, this uh, flies a little heavier uh, because it's kind of the same weight for the size of disc. Um, right. So it's a little bit better for tighter areas, you know, maybe a little bit smaller parts. Okay, flight um, time, four minutes. Yep, standard there. four minutes. Okay, I'm sure I probably, probably could get more since I fly like a baby. And I'll get a little less. And you'll get a little less, yeah. Yep. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, cool. Thanks, James. I really appreciate all the information on this. If you guys have any further questions, make sure to check us out on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash bladehelis, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. See you.